Chiefs. Um, I do want to thank the uh, media for telling the stories, and I've echoed that, uh, I think, every year. Um, uh, one of the reasons our programs have been able to continue to move ahead and, and reach out uh, has been your efforts. And so uh, appreciate that, and I would echo that in the football program, we will do everything we can to, to make your life easy, to get you the story so you can uh, paint that picture. I want to thank our administration also for their efforts. And uh, everybody's commented on the, the Dykehouse Center. Uh, I like it too. It's a nice <laughs> facility. So it is not a football facility, but we are blessed to be housed here. And uh, the academic center, the weight room, uh, the training room all gets used by all our sports. But it is a, a real treat uh, to see the, the addition of this facility and, and the vision of of people uh, all over South Dakota. I want to introduce our staff. Um, uh, we've got a mess of guys um, and one gal, I guess. So Luke Meadows, associate head coach, offensive coordinator, and uh, offensive line back there in the corner. Jay Bubak, co-defensive coordinator, defensive backs. Shannon Moore, special teams coordinator, tight ends. Clint Brown, co-defensive coordinator, D-line. Sean Menega, linebackers, uh, Eric Eidsness, uh, quarterbacks, passing game coordinator, Josh Davis, wide receivers, uh, Jesse Courier, D-line, uh, Thad Sheeran, running backs over here in the corner, Jimmy Rogers, defensive backs also, Jimmy played for us last year, um, and then uh, some, some people that we, we uh, try to claim, they do a lot of stuff in our program, but uh, Nate Moe, Head strength coach uh, back there, Brad Schmidt, assistant strength coach, excited about that addition. Uh, ben Hines, I don't believe our, our trainer is here. His GA is uh, Brandon Tatro. And then the face of SDSU football, our secretary, Tanya Hohentainer, who's right here. So thank goodness she's the face <laughs> of SDSU football. So, uh, uh, I, I, I would like to boldly say that uh, uh, our program has taken some steps in a positive direction in the last six years uh, with the Division One move. Um, uh, that is the goal in any athletic program. Uh, I would say this year we have the same goal, you know, uh, but we have our work cut out for us. Uh, we lost, and I've never done this, talk about the past, because I preach playing the present, but I, just to reference uh, we lost a group of seniors, uh, four of them in, are in NFL camps right now, and that has never happened at South Dakota State. And uh, I'm not whining, I'm complimenting those young men and the hard work and the vision and uh, them pursuing their dream. But we will miss those guys. That class of guys won a conference championship in 2007 in the Great West uh, Conference, football conference. They finished uh, third two years ago and, and missed the playoffs, uh, really uh, about as close as you can get. And then last year we finished second, second in the Missouri Valley Conference and went to the playoffs. And uh, so we will miss those guys. But what they left us and what we all hope to have in our programs is tradition. And tradition, uh, what it does is it raises the level, raises the expectations. And uh, you walk out on the field and you look at rankings and things like that. And, and uh, there's, a, there's a pattern, and that pattern is excellence in SDSU football. This year we're blessed with 20 seniors. Uh, our goal is to win the Missouri Valley Football Conference. Uh, that will be a tough task, and, and if we fall short of that, we want to make the playoffs again. And, and, and again, to take a step forward, we can't just make the playoffs. We have to win that first game and then ideally continue on and, and, and make an attempt to get to Frisco, Texas, where our championship is. Um, uh, our players will be out on the field for questions. Uh, I would encourage you to visit with uh, guys like Dean Pretty, Kyle Harris, who will, who will uh, really carry the load with special teams. Um, on offense, uh, Ryan McKnight, who's been preseason a bunch of things, but he is uh, a great football player and a great leader. And whatever the honors he gets, he's also a great team guy, Kyle Manette, who's won a lot of things, gotten a lot of honors, a running back. And then uh, we're really going to try to lean on Colin Koshar, our, our, uh, one of our senior tight ends, who has a ton of ability. And then defensively, 
uh, encourage you also to visit with Derek Domino, uh, preseason all-conference linebacker, Conrad Kerstead, um, preseason all-conference strong safety, and then uh, Jake Steffen, I think, has made, made some great strides at defensive line. He is a junior, but he's a, he's a great football player. Um, but, you know, in football, like Lang talked about, uh, 30 gals and battling to be on the field, and, and uh, Jared talked about all those golfers he's got in football. We, we travel with 60 and 50 to 55 of those guys will play, and, and they understand that in the game of football, at any point you will have a chance to make a play that wins a football game. And so we're not just going to lean on a few guys uh, and that is the nature of football in most of our sports. We're going to lean on every one of those guys. And we're going to need to do that because uh, I think we can, we can uh, objectively say this is our toughest schedule. Um, we start out on the road against uh, number 15 Delaware FCS uh, poll. Uh, we come home to number 26 Illinois State. We go on the road uh, for our FBS game to Nebraska. They're ranked number nine in America. We go on the road then to number 14, UNI. Then we come home, play Western Illinois, and then we go on the road and play number five, Southern Illinois. So, um, and we're ranked number nine in America. And so that goes with the tradition, the tough schedule, all those things. But uh, if we can get through or when we get through those, we will set ourselves up to accomplish our goals. And I expect us to do that. Thanks for being here.